Hello folks, thanks for tuning in and welcome back. I just wanted to share the luggage I selected for my African trip. And briefly, I only have two choices for these expedition type trips, let's say two weeks or longer. And the bag that you see here at the bottom, the green one, that's actually a Cabela's bag. And what it is, it's, it's a blend between their Alaskan Guide series, for those of you that are familiar with the Alaskan Guide series, and their Boundary Waterproof bags. And I bought that bag a few years ago, and I'm glad I did because I haven't seen it in a store in quite some time. And that's the bag I actually took to Texas last year when I went on a hog hunt during the winter. And the application for this bag is the obvious if you're going to have your gear exposed and it might get wet, let's say in the back of a pickup truck and it's raining and it's exposed to the elements, that's ideal for that. Your clothes is not going to get wet in any kind of wet environment, so it would work for that. And that bag is actually coming in at a whopping 9,000 cubic inches. So it's a huge bag and that's the capacity I like for these big trips. But the bag I'm actually going to be taking is this black one over here on the right. And that's actually a, an Eagle Creek 36 inch ORV trunk. And that one's also a very large bag. It's coming in at 8725 cubic inches or a whopping 143 liters. So it's a very, very big bag. It's well made. It comes with a no matter what guarantee. So it is uh, fully uh, guaranteed against any kind of damage and they'll repair it or replace it. But what I like about this bag is at the bottom here, if you see this little area right there, it has a very nice boot compartment. I can separate my dirty boots from my clothing or anything that's wet. The other thing I like, the interior of it is actually light gray inside, whereas the Cabela's bag is very dark inside. It's actually black and it's hard to see everything. And this one has a little more contrast inside. It also has some webbing on the outside. And I can attach things through it to it. And it also has a couple of external pockets. So I think that's going to be a good choice for my trip. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to review all my clothes. I'm just running out of time and there's too much clothes to review. But I will just briefly show you what I have and generally speaking and pardon the bump I just want to move the camera back but generally speaking when I go on these trips I like to take everything I need as well as everything I might need and the reason I need these large bags is because look at all the stuff I'm taking I mean I want to be fully prepared I want to have clean clothes and several options to change to depending on the weather and I want to be comfortable so it's a lot of clothes it's going to be cold there at least in the evenings and in the mornings I have to take ammo, toiletries, boots, socks a jacket, actually I'm bringing two jackets but what I'll do is I'll post all these contents online this is almost my final loadout I may tweak it a little bit more before I put it into the ORV trunk but I wanted to give you just a quick glimpse of my loadout. Thanks for tuning in and see you all next time.